Let's look back 40 years ago when the PC first came about. The PC delivered a 100x or more improvement in the, ex the uh, economics of computing. And that's why it was possible to reimagine enterprise applications and consumer applications, and a whole new wave of applications got built. Similarly, when the web came about, there was a 100x or more improvement in communication costs and access. So this, again, sparked a whole new wave of application innovation, which we are experiencing even today. Think about when the mobile phone came about. I would say there was a 100x improvement in application experience, in the economics of delivering a fantastic application experience, digital experience, as we call it, right? And that's why you have billions of mobile apps in all of our pockets today. Similarly, with generative AI, the promise is this. The promise is there is potentially a 100x improvement in the economics of creativity, of creating content of all types, of creating knowledge, of consuming knowledge, right? That is one of the key reasons why we think this is going to unlock a whole new wave of application innovation. And there is a second equally important reason. As Rajiv talked about, until now, AI has been very, very use case specific in the domain of specialists. You had a use case, you created an AI model for it, and then you built your application on top of the model, you needed a lot of data scientists. Second use case came along, you had to go build another model, right? and another application. That's why AI is not an enterprise fabric today. But with generative AI, here is what's different. These foundation models, or large language models, have general applicability. It's not just for a specific use case. Even more important, the way you interact with it is not through a programming language or a formal programming language. The way you interact with it is through natural language, which means literally everybody in your enterprise can interact with it. So the combination of this universal access and general purpose model, combined with the 100x improvement in the economics of creativity, means you can think about all sorts of applications that were never, never possible before. Across all of your enterprise domains, marketing domains, supply chain, customer experience, building new software, legal applications, you name it. In fact, this is why McKinsey is estimating that there is going to be $4.4 trillion of economic value created every year 